America. Suckers, happy Friday, Junior, you suckers. So, a few days ago, I put up a post. I had found out that Scott Adams, the creator of Dilbert, the cartoon Dilbert, had went on a racist rant, and so his comic was pulled from a few of the media outlets. So I went and I looked up the video, and we're gonna break the video down. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Now, first of all, there's a saying, and it's, it's to the tune of not wanting to meet your heroes, right? Meeting your heroes, essentially, you meet somebody that you wanted to meet, and you had this crush, this bromance, this whatever it is, this attraction that you wanted to meet this person, and then you meet them, and they're a 100% asshole. Now, I'm not gonna say Scott has is an asshole. I'm not gonna say he's a hero. What I will say is, the name Inky Man comes from the fact that I used to cartoon. So I had a lot of different heroes that came down to cartoonists that I looked up to. He wasn't at the top, but he was in the listing, you know. Um, I, that's a whole other thing. So I found this very interesting that a cartoonist would take, the, take it to this level because cartooning is such a lost art as far as how cartooning used to be in newspapers and drawing with an actual pen and pad and ink and all that other stuff. Now you got computer animation and all these other things. So anyway, I found that the point I'm trying to make with the hero thing is you might expect one thing, but you're about to see something completely different. Let's go. Uh, well, Rasmussen poll uh, had a uh, provocative little poll today. They said, uh, do you agree or disagree with the statement, uh, it's okay to be white? Rasmussen asked, you know, white and black voters and, and probably others, uh, do you disagree or agree with the statement, it's okay to be white? 26% of blacks said, uh, no, it's not okay to be white. 21% weren't sure. Add them together, that is 47% of black respondents were not willing to say it's okay to be white. That, that actually, that's like a real poll. This just happened. Uh, did you have any idea? <laughs> would, would you have imagined that that could have happened? Yes. If it's a possibility and it's possible to happen, yes. Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? Depends on who's saying that. So I realized, um, as you know, I've been identifying as black for a while, years now, because I like, you know, I like to be on the winning team. He likes to be on the winning team. I don't see us winning. We do things that are putting us in winning positions, yes. But with race relationships being the way that it is right now, black folks are consistently being dragged through the mud. Consistently, whether you want to admit to it or not, consistently being dragged through the mud. I really would like to know what this winning team uh, criteria is. Wouldn't you? And I like to help. And I, I always thought, well, if you help the black community, that's sort of the biggest lever you know, you could you can find the, the biggest benefit. So I thought, well, that's the hardest thing and the biggest benefit. So I'd like to focus a lot of my life resources in helping black Americans. So much so that I started identifying as black to just be on the team I was helping. I really can't believe that this man is really saying this and he's saying it on YouTube and he's putting himself out there like that given the following that he has and has had over the years. I don't understand. 
I guess and maybe maybe that's what's happening with me right now, right? I'm not as big as him, but I try to stay away from race and controversial comments like that because then you start to see the division come in based off the people who respond. And when they become family and becomes friends, it's like, I didn't know you thought like that. Now, in this case, I'm not going to look at anybody like that. I expected this to be controversial. I expect engagement. But I'm just amazed that this man is saying the things he's saying. So you decide that helping black folks is to identify as black folks and then use your resources to help us. It would be great to see or if, if he would identify what he did to help us. What is he using as his resources to help us? Not saying he didn't. But I just would like to know what would be those resources. But it turns out that nearly half of that team uh, doesn't think uh, I'm okay to be white. Which is, of course, why I identified as black, cause so I could be on the winning team for a while. But I have to say, uh, th this is the first political poll that ever changed my activities. I don't know that that's ever happened before. You know, normally you see a poll, you just look at it, and you go, ah, whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, this is interesting what other people think. But as of today, I'm going to re-identify as white because I don't want to be a member of a hate group. I'd accidentally joined a hate group. So if, if you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, according to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. Wow! That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. I don't want to have anything to do with them. I don't want to have anything to do with them. So he doesn't want anything to do with black folks, the hate group. If I'm wrong, correct me below. This is what I'm saying. I ain't, I've not edited. I'm, I mean, if I'm editing, I'm editing for space and time. I'm putting this out there just as it was. And if you want to actually see this, maybe I'll, I'll put the whole interview up on my web page. Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. Or you can look it up on YouTube yourself and see. I am not chopping this up. This man is saying this stuff. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Just get the fuck away. Wherever you have to go, just get away. <laughs> wow. Like, wow. Because there's no fixing this. This can't be fixed. All right, this can't be fixed. You just have to escape. Well, you're definitely not going to fix putting a screw in with a hammer. And you're hammering the shit out of this right now, bro. So that's what I did. I went to a neighborhood where, you know, I have a very low black population because unfortunately, the, you know, there's a high correlation between the density. And this is according to Don Lemon, by the way. I love when people do stuff like that. Did you see what, what happened there? Do you need to rewind? Did you see what happened there? The Don Lemon line? Um, so here I'm just quoting Don Lemon when when he notes that the when he lived in a uh, mostly black neighborhood, there were a bunch of problems that he didn't see in white neighborhoods. So even Don Lemon sees a big difference in your own quality of living based on where you live and who's there. So I, I think it makes no sense whatsoever as a uh, white citizen of America to try to help black citizens anymore. It doesn't make sense. It's, it's no longer a rational impulse. Wow. <clears throat> now, to, to an extent, this is where it, the controversy can go a step further. To a degree, I, I, I agree with that. Black folks should be helping themselves. Asian communities, let's cut out white. You're talking Italian, uh, European, Russian, Czech, all these different nationalities where the skin is white. These people all look out for themselves. Little Italy, little Poland. You understand what I mean? Um, and black folks need to do that. 
We need to do that. We do do that, but we need to do that at a higher level, like other ethnicities. Um, and it's crazy because even with me saying that black is the history of black folks. I mean, so let me go back because I'm, I'm, I'm starting to veer off. I completely, I agree with what he's saying because we do need to help ourselves. I disagree with what he's saying because other people can help. Okay? We're helping other countries with the crap that they got on. Other people within this nationality or this nation can help other people. That doesn't make any sense, especially if you're basing it off of this poll. So in other words, this man has identified himself as a black man. He sees his poll and he sees that the question is, is it okay to be white? And half the black folks say it's not. So now he's upset about that based off a poll. I can actually say right now that that poll is correct. And if you believe me, and then you turn into that, you, you see what I'm saying? Do you see where I'm going with that? Like, I don't know. I had to do this show because I haven't done a controversial show in a while. I haven't had a show that got people talking in a while. Big shout to Patty. How you doing, Patty? Thanks for that comment. Um, so I had to do this. I just had to do this. I really hate race relationships as an issue because it's stupid. It's divisive. And the only thing that's different between me and you, if you do not have this skin color, is just that. You bleed like I bleed. You probably eat different things, but you still eat. You still sit on the toilet. You know what I mean? You're still doing the same thing. You just have different color skin. And this shit is stupid, man. But at the same time, every once in a while, I do need some engagement. So that's why we did the show. Let's get back to Scott. And so I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to back off from being helpful to black America because it doesn't seem like it pays off. Like I've been doing it all my life and I've been the only outcome is I, be, I get called a racist. That's the only outcome. <laughs> it makes no sense to help black Americans if you're white. Uh, the, the, it's over. Don't, don't even think it's worth trying. Totally not trying. Now, we should be friendly. Like, I'm not saying start a war or, you know, do anything bad. Nothing like that. I'm just saying get away. Just get away. And then what would that do? <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I don't... I... I speak off the top of my head, so sometimes when I watch my show, sometimes I realize I say some stuff that I probably put my foot in my mouth and I didn't realize it, but I try to give you the most raw of me possible as if we're having a conversation. I try not to cut out anything so that there is things to talk about. If I say something out of turn, you can check me. This dude right here, though. Woo, bro. He's like really coming off the cuff with some of this generalization. And supposedly all he was drinking was coffee. And here's my take on all of it. Everybody who focuses uh, their priority on education does well. If, if anybody in the black community focuses on education, they'll do well as well, because the, the system allows that. If they don't, I can't make that my problem anymore. It just can't be my problem. It can't be my problem if the solution is so clear, so available, and people don't want to take it. It's just not my problem anymore. So I resign. I resign from the hate group called Black Americans, according to the Rasmussen poll. You see what he did there? Did you see what he did there? There's a power in words. And the people who understand that are the ones that you do not like because they know how to use their words effectively. 46% of them don't think white people are okay. Just being white. And there we go. You didn't expect that today, did you? <laughs> did you? No, you didn't. But the most helpful thing I can do is to say I'm not gonna help. Do you understand that? Continuing to help in, in that sort of, you know, classic, oh, let me help you, give you, a, you know, a lift up, 
give you a hand, you know, mentor you, hire you, prefer you. I'm going to stop all of that. I'm done with all of that. Yeah, no. It didn't work. The only thing that will work is to say, you've got to fix your own problem. You know, how, you know how to do it. Everybody else figured it out. I won't say everybody else, but he has a point. Other people have figured it out. I'm not going to speculate, you know, why you're not doing it. I'm not going to speculate why there's a difference. I'm just going to say it's available to everybody. Just pick it up. It's free money. Focus on education, and you could have a good life too. But those who don't want to focus on education, you just need to get away from them. Just get as much distance as you can. That's my recommendation. Um, And I'm also really sick of seeing video after video of black Americans beating up non-black citizens. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) And we're tired of watching videos of black and white cops beating on black citizens, female and male. I'm, you know, I realize it's anecdotal. And it, you know, doesn't give me a, a full picture of what's happening. But every damn day, I look on social media, and there's some black person beating the shit out of some white person. I'm kind of over it. I'm over it. Right? So I, I quit. Um, and it feels good not to be in a racist uh, hate group anymore. So I'm now independent. Not a member of any group. I do not align with any group, not the white supremacists and not the black um, racists. What really bothers me about this whole thing is the fact that he's actually calling a race of people a hate group based off of a poll. That's what I don't like about that. So I made this show because I wanted to get some engagement. What do you think? What do you, what, what do you think of this whole thing? You know what I mean? Racism and things like, it's funny. Prejudice, racism, things like that. The foundation is usually just some comical nonsense. And it's just amazing that people still to this day will make a video like this. This man knows better. He knows better. And, And at this point right now with race relationships being what they are, a video like this starts a race war. A video like this gets other non-white, non-black people beat up by black people and vice versa because of things like this. You know what I mean? Even what I'm doing right now can re- incite someone. You understand what I mean? When you're, when you're tackling the subject at all. But I felt like once I saw this as a headline, I wanted to, to, to bring this up to just see what you had to say about it. And then maybe we just continue a dialogue. The whole show ain't got to be about this, but it would be interesting to know, what do you feel about this whole thing? Happy Thursday, you suckers. Happy Payday Eve. Happy Friday, Junior, you suckers. I'll see you later. We honor the memory of those who are no longer with us by using what we have learned to save others, to exercise faith and patience and charity. To reach out to those who are afraid. If we can do that, then their passing will have had meaning, and we will grow from it.